With the departure of David De Gea from Old Trafford, it appears that Andre Onana's move to Manchester is imminent, with only a few formalities and details left to be sorted out. Today, we will explore why Onana is such an ideal fit for Ten Hag's style of play and discuss how he will contribute to United's ability to control and dominate matches. For years, the role and significance of the goalkeeper were widely underestimated. Their primary objective was simply to prevent the ball from entering the goal and that was basically it. Consequently, when daring goalkeepers occasionally emerged, they became even more memorable. While many individuals at a time may have regarded these goalkeepers as unnecessary risk-takers, it would have been beneficial for more of us to consider a broader perspective and recognize the potential in confident and forward-thinking goalkeepers. This shift in mindset aligns with Manchester United's current direction. As De Gea is more of a traditional goalkeeper in this aspect, and now he's leaving. Despite David De Gea's remarkable contributions to Manchester United since his arrival in 2011, including his impressive record of 17 clean sheets in 38 league games, which led to him winning the Premier League Golden Glove Award with a significant margin last season, he no longer embodies what United requires for future progress. It shouldn't be understated the tremendous impact the Spaniard has had on Manchester United during his decade-long tenure at Old Trafford. However, it has become apparent that there are superior all-around goalkeepers available on the market. De Gea's inconsistencies throughout this season, along with his less-than-convincing distribution, have raised doubts about his compatibility with the footballing philosophy of new manager Eric Ten Hag. Upon joining United from Dutch champions Ajax last summer, Ten Hag made it explicitly clear that he aimed to introduce a more progressive and proactive style of play to the club. The goalkeeper's proficiency in ball playing is a crucial element in Ten Hag's system. Unfortunately, on too many occasions this season, United experienced a loss of possession when De Gea was in possession of the ball. Among all the goalkeepers that United have been linked with in recent weeks, Onana appears to be the ideal choice. He's a player with whom Ten Hag is familiar, having been a regular in the Ajax lineup under the Dutch manager. The Cameroonian international possesses exceptional passing range, displays confidence when handling the ball, demonstrates strong command of his penalty area, and is a reliable shot stopper. These remarkable skills were evident during Inter's journey to the Champions League final, where they lost 1-0 against Manchester City. To counter Onana's proficiency with a ball at his feet, City opted to press high for the majority of the match. However, as manager Pep Guardiola explained, this becomes a challenging task when facing a goalkeeper of Onana's caliber. Guardiola effectively summarized one of the most significant issues United faced last season, their struggle to retain possession and consistently break down opposing teams. While it would be unfair to attribute this solely to one player, as football is a collective sport, the goalkeeper serves as the starting point and foundation of the team's play. If the goalkeeper cannot effectively build play from the back and maintain possession for the team, it becomes significantly harder to generate momentum and create scoring opportunities, leading to uncertainty and panic. Onana's greatest asset undoubtedly lies in his exceptional ability in possession. He possesses remarkable control and passing skills, even in the tightest areas, exhibiting a calmness reminiscent of a central midfielder. His distribution rarely falters under pressure, and he excels at accurately delivering long-range passes, contributing significantly to Inter's dominance in ball possession. His role often entails holding onto the ball for as long as possible, deliberately inviting opposition pressure to manipulate their positioning and create openings. Despite being considered a risk-taker, last season Onana achieved an impressive 93.8% pass accuracy in his own half surpassed by only 12 goalkeepers in Europe's top 5 leagues. Notably, only 3 of those goalkeepers attempted more passes on a per 90-minute basis. In comparison, De Gea found a teammate with 88% of his passes in his own half, averaging only 19.3 passes every 90 minutes. Therefore, not only is Onana accustomed to handling a significant share of the ball, but he is also reliable. While he may be perceived as a risk-taker, there is a clear purpose and thoughtfulness in his game and rarely does he appear to make passes without careful consideration. Onana's performance on the grandest stage further highlighted the stark contrast in his ability to play out from the back compared to De Gea, particularly when considering the latter's infamous display against Sevilla in the Europa League quarterfinals. 
In simple terms, Onana's overall skill set encompasses a much more comprehensive and well-rounded range of attribute than De Gea's. This includes his adeptness at managing crosses, organizing the defense, making crucial saves, and initiating build-up play from the back. He perfectly embodies the type of goalkeeper that Ten Hag desires in order to maximize the potential of his system. It is easy to envision Onana stationed at the heart of United's defense, orchestrating the buildup of play from the back or unleashing a powerful long ball towards the onrushing Rashford. Considering these factors, the addition of a goalkeeper of Onana's caliber has the potential to bring about a significant transformation at United. The team already possesses key players in defensive positions who excel at playing progressive passes, including Lissandro Martinez, Luke Shaw, and Casemiro, with Bruno Fernandes operating slightly higher up the pitch. Consequently, acquiring a talented goalkeeper who is adept at playing with the ball would seem like the logical progression, especially considering the prevalent pressing style seen in the Premier League nowadays. As Ten Hag's tenure at Old Trafford progresses, one aspect that is likely to evolve is United's positioning on the pitch, specifically their high defensive line. During his time at Ajax, Ten Hag's team would often initiate their open play passing sequences from higher up the pitch compared to most other teams. Since Ten Hag's first full season in charge of Ajax, his team has consistently ranked first in the Era de Vici for average start distance and high turnovers. While there is still work to be done on his current project at United, it is expected that these statistics will continue to trend in a positive direction. Having a goalkeeper of Andre Onana's caliber enables a team to play up with a higher defensive line. Although Onana hasn't required to sweep often due to Inter's relatively deep defensive line, he recorded an impressive 35 successful keeper sweepings during the 2016-17 Era de Vici season with Ajax. This performance has been surpassed by only 10 goalkeepers in a single season across the top six leagues since then. In comparison, De Gea managed only 19 successful sweeper actions last season, placing him 16th among Premier League goalkeepers. These shortcomings make it challenging for United to defend with confidence and maintain effective attacks, which again shows why they need to change their goalkeeper. Nevertheless, amidst all the ongoing discussions, it's crucial not to lose sight of the primary responsibility of a goalkeeper, which is to prevent goals. Ten Hag's system at United is designed in a way that often requires the team to concede a considerable number of shots, as this tactic encourages opponents to leave spaces open for exploitation at the opposite end of the pitch. To be fair to De Gea, he remains a highly capable shot stopper, though his league save percentage last season stood at 69.9% slightly lower than Onana's 71.8%. Onana also topped the charts in the Champions League for goals prevented, keeping out 7.8 goals according to Optus expected goals on target conceded metric, although he did concede 2.5 more goals than expected in Series A. It's important to acknowledge that no goalkeeper is perfect, as even someone like Ederson conceded 4.7 more goals than expected in the league last season, according to the same statistical model. Despite this, Ederson is still widely praised as one of the best goalkeepers and is often regarded as the benchmark for ball-playing keepers. Additionally, we must recognize that Onana has been playing in leagues that are considered less physically demanding than the Premier League, particularly in terms of the emphasis on pressing. If he were to join United, success is not guaranteed. His ability to adapt quickly would be crucial, particularly in adjusting to the higher intensity of pressing in the early months. However, if the transition is smooth, there is every reason to anticipate that Onana will become a vital and integral component of Ten Hag's system. The Cameroonian goalkeeper, who recently turned 27 in April and is now entering his prime years, possesses both the necessary time and expansive skill set that align perfectly with Ten Hag's demands for his system to reach its full potential. If Ten Hag and United approach the situation proactively and intelligently, they should make every effort to secure Onana's signature this summer. It may seem harsh to cast aside a player like De Gea, who has been a loyal servant and given his all to the club. However, the reality is that as long as De Gea remains United's goalkeeper, the limitations he brings will severely restrict Ten Hag's system in the long run. This constitutes the most compelling and decisive reason why United must move on and acquire a new goalkeeper this summer. United might finally be embracing the changing times, where the goalkeeper position can be utilized to its maximum effect at Old Trafford. What are your thoughts on whether he's the right fit for United?
We welcome your opinions and insights in the comments section below. If you found De Gea's departure from United surprising, check out why he had to leave in this video next.